Hey, my name is Jeremiah, and I'm doing a quick video here at this 98 Buick Park Avenue. We just took this car on trade on a used mobility van. This uh, came from Junction City. They drove it from two hours away. It is a one owner. The couple that owned it were uh, in their late 50s, early 60s. They've taken real good care of the car. It does have some scratches in the paint. Of course, the black's going to show everything. It does have quite a few scratches in the paint, but I don't see any dents on the car. It's got good Firestone tires on the front. There's a lot of tread left on them. Like I said, the car made it from two hours away. And I'll take it on the highway unless you listen to it drive. But no major body damage, no big dents in it. I don't think it's going to win. It's not going to win any car shows, but uh, overall you can tell from the pictures and the video looks pretty sharp. And most importantly, it runs and drives real nice. The air conditioner works. No check engine lights on. When I go to turn the car on, fires right up. All the dummy lights work. No check engine lights. No ABS, no airbag lights. Uh, current miles 202-370. And I'll pop the hood so you can listen to it run. We'll let it idle here for a minute. The interior is very clean. They were non-smokers. Carpets still look great. Got the leather seats. Both in good condition. Uh, he did tell me that the it has heated seats up front. The driver's heated seat does not work. He was very honest in what he knew about the car. He said other, other than that, everything seems to work on it. Back seats are good, headliner's good. You know, no stains, no tears, no odors. Engine idle smooth. Uh, it's not smoking, you know, no, no squeaks, no belts. I don't see any signs of any leaks. Underneath, a lot of cars in this price range. They're going to have oil leaks, they're going to have transmission leaks, you know, power steering, who knows. It's dry underneath, I can't see any leaks underneath here. Idle smooth. I'm going to take it out and drive it so you can listen to it run. Before I get it on the highway, I just want to show you all the power windows work, power mirrors. The people that own this were pretty, pretty meticulous owners back windows so it's not some car where you show up the check engines lights on two of the windows don't work the radio doesn't work you know okay, I'm looking verse 9 um, on the AC the actuator which means it's, it doesn't blow out the vents here it'll blow out the uh, defrost and it'll blow out on the floor so you'll still get AC it just won't be directly on you uh, probably a relatively easy fix it's not something we're going to fix unless you want to pay us to do it. But let's take it out, let you listen to it run. Okay, the last portion of the video, I'm going to take it down the highway so you can hear it run, get it up to highway speeds. I've got the air on, it's cooling very nice. It's about 95 degrees already, so that's a good thing. I'm going to give it some gas. point of making these videos is if you come look at it but you know exactly what you're getting you're not wasting my time or yours and uh, we appreciate anyone's offer anyone coming to look at it but save your low ball offers all right a good looking car with nice leather interior with air conditioning with no known mechanical issues no check engine lights no visible leaks good tires runs and drives real nice down the highway steering wheel is not shaking back and forth for under two thousand dollars they're really hard to find and you can find a crap load of cars in Wichita for under two thousand dollars that are going to be broke down on you next week but if you want something that's been one owner adult maintained well kept up I'd drive this thing to Dallas right now I wouldn't think twice about it so yeah you can probably save a couple hundred bucks somewhere else 
but probably gonna catch up with you in the long run. I'll take a car all day with 200,000 miles on it that's been well taken care of and not abused over a car with 120,000 miles that's been, that's been rode pretty hard. I'm gonna give it a hard brake at the bottom of the exit. No brake noise, no vibration in the steering wheel. It doesn't pull left or right. Overall, pretty solid car. So, thanks for checking it out. Give me a holler if you want to take a look at it in person. And uh, have a good day.